Hi there and welcome back to a video about the art supplies that I took on my very recent holiday with Art Safari when I spent two wonderful weeks in Uzbekistan. I'll give you a quick flick of this. Just look at that. It was an absolutely fabulous holiday and I am working through my photographs and I will put together like a travel video. <clears throat> what I thought I'd do today though was to take you through the supplies that I took with me and let you know which ones I used and which ones I didn't use. Now please bear in mind and please pretty please don't laugh at me. This was my first holiday that was an art holiday so I really didn't want to run out of anything but this is everything that I took. I didn't take it all out with me every day. Um, I challenged myself on different days to use different supplies, which was perhaps in hindsight, not a great idea. I also knew that we were gonna be somewhere where getting supplies would be a bit tricky. Although I was fairly sure if I ran out of anything that the other people on the tour would be happy to share. Anyway, do you want to join me as we go through this lovely lot? I'm going to move it all to one side and then I'll go through it bit by bit. So if you've not heard of Art Safari, I will put their link in the description below. They are an art based group in uh, Suffolk in Woodbridge and they organise um, weekly sketch alongs on a Thursday evening. They do holidays all around the world, all related to art, and I'd highly recommend them as a company. This is their logo. Isn't that lovely? So what did I take with, sketch with me with regard to sketchbooks? Well, I took this um, little, let me just check how big it is. I took this ruler as well and I did use it. So this book is, let me see. Five and a half by five and a half. And I did use this. I'm not going to show you what I drew in them just yet. I'm going to save that for another video. So I did use this. It is a See Why It's a Brighton book. And I think it's got watercolour paper, this one. Yeah, watercolour paper. I'm not quite sure of the thickness. I took this um, See Why Echo sketchbook or eco sketchbook again this is a, an art safari one and I used this one very much for notes um, I've got to go back and fill some stuff in so I did use that one actually let me change this slightly I'm going to put the ones I used there this is a lay flat book that I made myself and if you look very closely on here you will see that Uzbekistan is on this map. Can't find it, but it's there, believe me. I think it's there, actually. I think that's it there. Yeah. Um, so I've made this myself and you can see from the edges it is well worn. Um, I will try and fix that. And yes, I did use this. I liked that. That was the one that I, that one and that one and that one were the ones I had every day with me. I took this CY of Brighton uh, medium weight watercolour paper book and I did do some work in this, but not so much. What I found with this paper was that the front side of it was lovely and I enjoyed it. But the back side of it, can you see the grain on that paper? I think that's where it was. That's the bottom side of it. I didn't like that side so much. So I did use that. And then this is an A4. Again, see white of Brighton. This is the thicker watercolour paper. Listen to that. And I did use this. I did not take it out with me every day though, just on days when I knew 
we were going to be having a proper sit down session because it's quite chunky or in the evenings uh, i did use it then so that's on the that's on the i used you pile and then because i didn't want to run out of paper i had also taken these little bamboo bits so i didn't use those I didn't use this little sketchbook. I thought I might have time for doing some of my Zentangle designs, but I didn't. But I did use the um, glue dots that I took. I gave them to somebody else. Didn't use this little notebook. I'd made this dot square paper book. Didn't use that. And I had taken this Hannah Muller, um Cold press watercolour book. Uh, I do like the Hannah Muller paper. I think I like it more than the Sea White watercolour paper actually, but I didn't use this. So this was used, this pile wasn't. Move my tea out of the way as well. So um, water cup I used. I took the Lyra water soluble graphite sticks. Um, I like these because they're good for quick sketching and then you can um, dissolve the graphite with some water. So I did use those, not extensively, but I was glad I had them with me. I didn't use the charcoal. So that was a kind of a 50% use. Um, I took the Viviva watercolour sheets that we got in a recent scroller box. I did use those. I also took some of my Caran d'Ache Neo, Neo Colour 2s, the aquarelle ones that um, you can dissolve with water to give like a watercolour effect. And I did use those. I used those more than I thought I would, actually. Um, and... <laughs> In terms of using them, it was my first time doing a proper piece of art with them. So not a good idea. I wouldn't recommend that. I did use my kneaded eraser and I did use the bulldog clip. Um, this sharpener got lost somewhere in my luggage, so I didn't use that. I did use this one and I did use this one. So they definitely got used. This little palette here is, it's in a Julia K art studio palette. Uh, I forget what watercolours these are. Let me see if there's a name. Typical of me, there's no brand name on the side and I honestly forget which ones these are, but they are lovely. You can see how vibrant they are. Um, these were nice to have in my bag in the side pocket. Oh, I haven't shown you my bag, have I? This was the handbag that I took and it's got various pockets where I could store things. And this side was for my art stuff. And in here I had things like my, I still got it there, my camera, my purse and my sketchbooks. I also had a rucksack that I took with me every day, um, mainly because I had extra things like um, a sun hat and a scarf um, in case we went into mosques and all that kind of thing. I took with me two spare ink cartridges and I used one, so that definitely got used. My schminker palette of watercolours, I did use these. But I need to do some sorting out with that one and this one. This is my Winsor & Newton professional watercolour palette. And this I got a bit fed up carrying this around. And the Schmincke one didn't have enough blues in it. So I took some of the blues out of there and put them in there. However, I'm sure you may well have experienced this yourself. I always seemed to have either the wrong palette or the wrong colours with me. But anyway, very much used both of these, as you can tell. 
and the outside has got quite dinted up and quite travel related so as has that one they were both lovely and new looking before i um went on holiday so they were the paints and i did use those um the pencil the graphite pencil sticks I ended up not using these because I had another pencil like this that I used instead. So they did not get used. That's the not used pile. And then I had this pencil case. Um, this one was very useful for making sure that my pencils and my ink tense pencils didn't get all bashed up it protected them psychologically it protected them so these ones here are the polychromos ones so up to there those 12 didn't use these ones these 12 i did use um they got a bit mangled up in my pencil sharpener as well so i did use these and I did use the ink tents, although I didn't use all of the ink tents. Um, I think that green maybe I didn't use, but I used most of them. Then brushes. I've actually lost the big pile of brushes that I took with me. It might be downstairs, but I did probably take too many brushes with me. Um, those were three of them. Then I had my white Signo pen, which I didn't use. Um, did I use that one? Yes, I did. And one of these Chinese brush pens, which I did use. And a little blending stump and a little pencil in there. So didn't carry the pencil case around with me every day. Did use the pencils. I'll put that over there just now. And then on these... These three here. Um, this pencil case was one that came out with me every day. And in here I had, oh, there's the other pencil that I used most of the time, together with this oops, everlasting pencil. I thought I'd taken a propelling pencil with me, and you know, the ones that stay nice and sharp, but I hadn't, so I wish I had one of those. Then I had these um, Derwent line makers and a couple of Muji pens in the right kind of colours. I did use these. I either used them for sketching or for writing and they were lovely. They're good because they're, they're, well, they're Derwent line makers. <clears throat> the Derwent line makers, these ones, they're good because they are um, permanent. So you can put watercolour on top and it doesn't run. And then in this side, we've got some um, Pigment Microns, which I did use, a Copic brush pen, which I used, a silver pen. I don't think I used that. Um, the Fude pen with the angled nib. This one, I did use this. I liked it very much. The second cartridge that I put in is an ink that is more blue, more kind of turquoisey blue. And I preferred that to the black ink that was in it when I first went. So that was good. I took this, but I really, I didn't get on with it very well. I only used it once. So I'm gonna put that on that pile. So this goes on. I'm gonna run out of space here. This goes on this pile. In this pencil case, let's see what we had in here. I think I don't, didn't use much of this. I did use the washi tape, but only to seal up my paints so they didn't splurge everywhere. Oh, I did use my mono eraser. Um, I didn't use, I didn't use the pilot pens, didn't use that. Didn't use my Posca. Didn't use the brush pens, didn't use that one. I think I tried to use that, but not very successfully, so I'm going to say I didn't. I did use the Tombow two colours, but not very successfully. 
This was a quick glue pen, which I didn't use. I didn't use that washi tape. Um, I did use that bronze pen and that gold pen, but I didn't use these ones. So they're all on that side. And that's just another sheet of glue dots. I didn't take that pencil case out with me every day, but obviously it was useful to carry things around with me. And then in this pencil case, we've got another set of microns because, just because, I didn't use those. Um, I think I used the 05, but not the 01. And this bit, I had two travel pe paintbrushes, which I didn't use, um, and a glaze pen, little pencil, which I didn't use. Then in this side, we had a rubber, which I didn't use. Um, that's a graphite aquarelle, which if I'd realised I had it with me, I probably would have used it more along with that one, because that's the same, a water-soluble sketching pencil. It's got a bit mashed up. Um, didn't use the matte pencil. Did I use the grey? Oh, yes, I did use the grey ones. Didn't use those two gold pens. I did use the brush, uh, the water brushes. Didn't use that one. And I didn't use the uniball pen. So in terms of what I took with me, you can see everything. Here. Well, I took this pencil case to hold things and this pencil case to hold things. Um, you can see just how much stuff I took and it was quite frankly ridiculous. However, I was very glad that I had everything with me because I was able to make decisions about what I wanted to take out each day. And really, this doesn't take up much space in my suitcase. I didn't have to lug it all out with me every day because we kind of prepared in the morning and then went out for the day. So I challenged myself on different days to use different supplies. So one day I challenged myself to use the Neo colours. Another day I challenged myself just to use the watercolours. Another day I challenged myself just to use the line markers. So I was pleased with what I took. I do know for next time what I don't need to take and that I can thin down on some supplies. Like I don't need a whole packet of microns. Um, so the only thing that you haven't seen are all the paint brushes. I am just going to go and see if I can find them downstairs because if I can't, it means that I've left them in Uzbekistan. I'll be back in a minute. So I found them. I thought I'd lost them there for good. I also found my Derwent spritzer, which I also took with me and didn't use. Um, interestingly, this didn't get picked up on the airport scanners and I had water in it. So it's interesting. Anyway, these were the brushes that I took. My... Um, Silver Velvet number four and number 12. I used the 12 a lot. Oops, sorry, the 12, I used that a lot. I also used the Zen Art eight and the 10 a lot because they were nice big ones for when I was working in the big book. I used the Artful square brush, flat brush. I used that a lot. And I used the Princeton Velvet Touch quite a bit. I didn't use these two so much because they were quite little. So there you have it. My Uzbekistan holiday art supplies. Um, you're probably wondering, Sue, did you not watch other people's videos to see what they took? Well, of course I did, but my own insecurities about not having enough things with me kind of took over and although I'd packed everything kind of two or three days beforehand I kept thinking oh I'll just take this oh I'll just pop that in oh that doesn't take much space 
that's why the Viviva watercolour sheets made it. Um, so anyway, next time I go on one of these holidays, I will thin down how much I take with me, probably quite considerably. And um, when I next go on a holiday, I'll let you know what I took and what I used. Thanks very much for watching. Cheerio now.